Today, the Football Writers Association released their 75th anniversary college football All-American team. And to no surprise, Ohio State's well represented with five players. Only Nebraska has more. Archie Griffin, Orlando Pace, and Jack Tatum earning first team honors. John Hicks second team and Chris Spielman third team. Well, the burning question for this year's defending national champion Buckeyes, who will be the first team quarterback, Cardell Jones or JT Barrett? A coin flip won by Cardell Jones determined who would take the first snaps with the first team on the first day of practice, but the final decision will come down to much more than heads or tails. Well, I mean, you're, you're taking into account everything that goes on through practice and uh, leadership and, you know, just how, who's moving the team, who's not moving the team, how are guys handling the football and ball security and making good decisions, all those things that that can hurt a football team, guys that don't do that. And guys make plays. Guys got to make plays too. You know, we can't just have a robot back there. We've got to have a guy that's a good athlete that can do some things. So there's a lot that goes in it. You know, there's a lot that's going to go into the decision, and and uh, all hands are on deck for it. I want it all, a complete printout of every piece of statistical information we have. Uh, the gut feeling part and what I've watched, uh, you know, it is what it is. I think they're both right there. And, you probably won't expect me to say anything different, but that's that's what it is. You know, it's a blessed position, but a tough position. Great kids, great competitors, great athletes, and uh, we just got to come out and work and see who's going to be the most consistent throughout camp. One thing that has remained consistent is both quarterbacks' attitudes towards each other. With Jones going so far as to say when he gets married, he expects JT to be in the wedding party. More important than teammates, we're, we're, uh, we're great friends, you know, but like I said, whoever is going to win the battle is going to be bittersweet because you definitely want to see your friend, your teammates succeed, but it only one guy can play. They're both working their tails off, and it's one of the, uh, it's one of the refresh, most refreshing competitions I've ever witnessed. And that's also from a family, you know, the families are great. I don't feel the, first of all, we don't put up with that here, but there's, there's zero Hey, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? We're thinking about Monday's practice is what we're thinking about. And those two guys get along. When I say best friend, they're, they're unbelievable how, how well they get along. Being that we're friends and we want the best for the team. And like I said, if it's, if it's not me, then I don't have a reason or whatever, whatever it is to be mad at somebody. Like, I'm not going to point the finger. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I didn't play well, so with me not playing well, I shouldn't play. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's playing better than me at playing quarterback, they should be playing. So um, I think that's my mindset. Uh, I think Cardell's is the same, uh, being that we talked about this before. So we want the best for the team, and uh, I think that's uh, something. And also, like I said, we're friends. We hang out all the time. And I'm constantly at Cardell's house. It's just being ourselves. You know, um, it's, all, it's all funny games when um, we're not on the field. But, I mean, when we get on the field, it's strictly business. Neither quarterback thinks a rotating system will work, and unlike in 2006 at Florida with Chris Leak and Tim Tebow, Urban Meyer has a pair of signal callers with very similar skill sets. And with a decision not likely to be made until the week leading up to the season opener at Virginia Tech, there is still time for one quarterback to emerge. But as Ohio State and both quarterbacks know so well, there's always a chance you'll need the backup. Probably going to be a time through the course of the season we're going to need both of them. Um, so to just settle on one and say here's the keys and the other guy just sits back and becomes a second team guy, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. You know, I think the best thing to do is let him keep competing. Competition's a beautiful thing. It really keeps him focused, it keeps him working hard. And uh, you know, the, the better guy at the end will, will come out being that guy, but certainly we're gonna need the backup too. In Columbus, Mark Coons, Sports Report.